Just sum up how you're feeling. Uh, in some ways, it's great to be back for our home, in a sense, because we filmed uh, here over a long period of time. So I'm really excited to begin now to share the film with, uh, with these insanely passionate fans and to share it uh, you know, with one of the first screenings here in, in London. You've been in some cool stuff. But what was the coolest thing about being in a Batman movie? Oh, gosh, the coolest thing about being in a Batman movie is, uh, I don't know, uh, I think it really, not to, you know, not to be, uh, uh, not to be clever about it, but I think it's the fans' passion for this thing. I mean, it's really, I've been in some big franchises, there's nothing like the intensity of interest that, uh, that we find with, with this movie. This begins in 1939 with the first comic book. So there's 80 years of momentum behind it. It's like at the center of American pop culture for a reason. There's just something about this series, this character, and these characters around the Batman that are really enthralling for people. And they take it very personally. You know, they're like, don't mess with my stuff. So I'm, you know, it's, it's really cool. And I think we honored the, the, the history and I think in doing that, we'll, uh, we'll honor that passion that, uh, that, that the fans have for it. So you're a Batman geek now. Are you more of a, you know, enthusiast? Oh, man, when I was a kid, I was, I, was, I was crazy about Batman. But that was through the TV series with Adam West. You know, it came out in the late 60s. You know, I'm a kid, you know, eight, nine years old, early 70s, and I'm all over that. I'm all over that. Do you have a moment in the film that really stood out to you that you thought, this is really cool right now? Well, there's several moments. Um, I think the Gotham that is created in our film has never really been seen before. It's been seen, I think, to some extent in the comics, but um, Matt Reeves, our director, oversaw the creation of this world that's so rich and so beautifully shot and so, uh, so, so dense. And uh, it's, you know, it's a once beautiful city that's decayed and they capture it so wonderfully, it adds so much light. It's almost like a character. Gotham, the city, is a character in the movie and it gives so much, um, so much depth to what we do as actors. I, really, I'm, I can't wait for fans to see it. You watch the film and you kind of just want to stay there and explore for a while, if it's possible. It's really, and James Chenlin, our production designer, Absolute genius, really. It's just stunning work. Did you get the chance to sit in the Batmobile? You know, you know, listen, the Batmobile is cool, but 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 have you seen have you seen the Ford Prowler that Gordon drives? Huh? I mean that thing is that thing that thing is something. <laughs> and just no. finally Robert Patterson, how special is he? Sorry? Robert Patterson, how special is he? Oh, wonderful actor and uh, he is so nuanced in this. There's a strength to his Batman, but then there's also a, this kind of conflict of emotions to his Bruce Wayne, and it's just, it's really a layered performance that's gonna bring, uh, you know, bring the Batman into the present day in a, in a fantastic way.